whole impetus for the paintings come from like kind of daydreaming that takes places in offices and places like that. Or they're dreaming about people that did amazing things and then crashed in amazing ways too. So that's how I conceive of it. So this will be a painting of Alphonse the Thirteenth. I was king of Spain at the turn of the century, uh, specifically during the Spanish-American War, which is when they lost Puerto Rico to the United States. And this is actually a coin that was minted in that year. And for some reason in that year it would say, by the grace of God, Alphonse the Thirteenth. Usually it just said the king of Spain. And it's the face of this you know, boy. He was essentially a 15-year-old boy when this war happened. And it was the one coin that I know that had the words Island of Puerto Rico. But I used the upper sides, so I used the, uh, the side of the face. And so you have this optical pattern that sort of plays on the funk, sort of 1970s, 60s, up art. This is a painting that I've been working on for a couple of months it's called uh, Wars of Puerto Rico. Uh, Mother of Pearl the 11, which is the street where I grew up in Puerto Rico. And it's essentially all the uh, elements of different wars that did occur on the island, but all happening at a, at a time that it's impossible for it to occur. So different um, people from different eras fighting each other. There's a famous painting in Puerto Rico called El Velorio. It's a wake for a baby. And it's, uh, everybody knows that there. It's, uh, it's all these peasants having this wake. So what I'm doing right now is doing studies for essentially what would have happened after the wake when everyone got drunk and there was this insane orgy that happened. Sort of Everyone forgot about the baby. So it's all these peasants wearing traditional costumes going crazy. So that's, that was sort of the initial. And so a lot of these are studies for that, which will be taking place in this huge canvas in red.